Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I'm an idol hunter on the Whisperwind server, and right now it is the Midsummer Fire Festival. Now this is a world event, and you have a list of achievements uh, with this world event, and also a re reward for a title for yourself, as with all world events. So this goes from June the 21st to July the 5th, and there's going to be a fireworks spectacular on July the 4th, so that'll be interesting to check out. And now I have um, a guide on my website, tribunalxhunter.com, with all the locations of the honoring and extinguishing the fires all around Outland and Azeroth and Northrend that you will find useful. And actually, I did this guide, a uh, written guide, before I did the video guide. And I used the written guide myself as a guide for the video, and it helped a lot. So go check that out if you haven't done the achievements yet. And so we're at the vendor, and uh, there are a whole bunch of stuff, but the stuff you're concerned with is the, uh, the chest, the shoulders, and the shoes, which complete the Midsummer Reveler um, combo. And there uh, is achievement for that, a burning hot pole dance, which you have to put on the entire set and dance for 60 seconds. And I'll show you that later on. You also have uh, Burning Blossoms, and they're the currency of this entire event. Brazier of Dancing Flames. Now this is a very cool little object. You put it on the ground, and you click it, and slash dance with it. And you'll turn into a fiery female Draenei, and you'll do their dance. Now anyone can use this, so it's very cool. Now let's go to the dailies. The first one is tossing the torch. You'll get an object. I would recommend you take this, uh, the torch, and put it on your key binding. And then you have to be beside the bonfire and just throw wherever the hunter's mark is marking on the torch. So you hit 20 of these within the minute and a half that they give you. And don't worry, it pl it's plenty of time. Uh, you probably need about 40 seconds to hit 20, if that. So. You know, take your time, don't miss, and it's fairly easy. And with this, you get five fiery blossoms. Now, the next one is more torch catching. And so what you have to do is throw it and keep your camera facing down, so you're watching the ground, and you're looking for a shadow. Now, you might have to change your video settings so that you can see the shadow better but the trick is to throw it and whichever direction is being thrown towards you have to run in that direction and make sure you stay a few steps ahead of it now you have to be at least three four maybe even five steps ahead but if you're right on the shadow you're gonna miss for sure so that's the trick stay directly a few steps in front of it and you'll catch them all no problem and you'll also get 5 Fiery Blossoms for this as well. And those are the two dailies. So, uh, there is this other uh, ribbon pole, which you start dancing at, and you'll get a buff, Ribbon Dance, which will increase up to 60 minutes, and you get 10% extra experience with this buff on. So, it's very good for people who still need experience. And so I'm here on my alt, Zon, and I just did the two dailies, and I got myself two practice torches. And I'm gonna go and send these two, I'm sorry, juggling torches. I'm gonna send these two torches to my main, Tribunal X, because they're not so bound. And when I get them, I have to be here in Dalaran. I look facing down, and I'm gonna do Torch Juggler, the achievement, which is catch 40 torches in 15 seconds. So I have to put the torches on the key binding, I've set it on a 1, and I'm pressing 1 and left click as frantically as I can while casting over myself. And I have to catch 40 torches in 15 seconds, so you have to click very fast. As you can see, I had to retry 3 times. But eventually, you'll get it. And the reason why I used an alt to buy the torches is because I don't want to waste my uh, blossoms for this achievement when I could just get someone else to do it. And for the next one, Ice the Frost Lord. What you have to do is come to uh, Slave Pens, 
and you could be here in either normal or heroic. I am here in the normal instance, and I'm just in my hunter tanking spec. Uh, if you want to see what that is, go to my website, and I'll have a link to that in the FAQ page. FAQ page. And so, you talk to Luna uh, in the uh, the slave pens, and she will give you a quest to summon the Frost Lord. So, summon the Frost Lord, and he will come about, and he will summon adds onto you. He will cast things on the ground, which you have to avoid, and it's kind of a hard boss, even though he's only a level 73, and it's very hard for a non-healer class to take care of him. I probably need one other class, at least one other class who can heal me, so that we could take him down. So I wasn't able to take him down, he got the better of me. So for the next achievement, you have to go around Azeroth honoring the flame, so just go honor the flame, and honor the flame, and honor the flames. Then you have to go around Azeroth and desecrate the flames. So desecrate the flames, and desecrate the flames, and then desecrate the flames. And once you're done all that, you have to do that again, and 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 again. And then once you're done all of that, then you have to just go around Azeroth and do it again and 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 hopefully by then you've completed all the achievements for Azeroth and Outland and you have to also steal the fires from your opposite faction main cities. So here I am in Undercity, and I just stole their main fire. And I'm trying to run out of here as clean as I can, but nope, this rogue wants to stop me and stun me. So I pop Beast Your Wrath on all my cooldowns, and I let him have some. And my pet is enough to just finish him off. So unlucky for that rogue, he thinks he's getting a free kill in his home city, but little does he know he was fighting a beastmaster hunter. So you know, sometimes things like this happen. You take a wrong step somewhere, you make a wrong turn, and sometimes in a while, you accidentally fight a beastmaster hunter one on one, and you're not gonna survive. So there's uh, my fire from Undercity, and one's from my Ogremar, Thunder Bluff, and Silver Moon, and I have all four that I need. Now, Beastmaster Hunters are the most, probably one of the most powerful and formidable foes on a 1v1 situation. So I'm lucky that's what I chose. So now, what you have to do is run back to your. Uh, anyone of your major cities, and there is a guy who will complete your quests that you've just picked up from the main city fires. 